I did everything I could for 9 months and over 100 videos. I avoided playing either the UK or France in this game. But the day has finally come. The day when I don't know what the fuck else to play. So I will just play the United Kingdom. But don't worry, this is not vanilla. I am not that crazy. At least not yet. We are playing a mod named Victory's March. Which doesn't do that much for the UK actually, they only expand the focus tree a bit, but in a very cool way. There is also a brand new Siamese focus tree that I've played a couple months ago, this one is also pretty cool. And the main attraction of this mod, a reworked Japanese focus tree, which also looks pretty good. The icon work is absolutely astonishing, look at this. The guys that make this mod are really cooking, those two must be the coolest icons ever from this game and it fixes the main problem of Japan. For me, it's not really that fun to play Japan in Hearts of Iron 4 because you can't core anything, but in this focus tree you can at least core China or some parts of China, and with the communist patch you can even create a uh, Asian Soviet Union. You can core all of China, India and the islands, which is pretty cool, but we are not here for that. We are here for the UK. And today, my silly little goobers, we are gonna go with the King's Party and... Oh, look at this. Imperial ambitions, don't mind if I do. So, a change in course it is. Also, in the near future I am gonna play France. So, you guys already know that I actually lost it. What the fuck? Ireland is my dominion. That's a brave statement. I'm sure that this thing makes a certain group of people very unhappy. Let's bring the boys home, by the way. Oh no, what the fuck is this shit? Do I fucking need to keep track of the House of Commons? I literally have nightmares with the fucking USA Congress system. Don't make me do this, please. <laughs> Funny enough, in this mod the UK can form the European Union. Talk about the fucking imposter, man. Now we fucking need to wait for Edward to marry Mrs. Simpson. Which is weird, I thought Marge was already married. Hello guys. I think some of you forgot something. You guys were supposed to subscribe to the channel a while ago. And you know, I don't want you guys to take it as a threat. But you may not be here tomorrow to subscribe, so do it now. I'm still trying to hit 50k until the end of this year, so uh, a little bit of help, people. Also, I have a Patreon which you can join for only one dollar and it's in the description of this video and doing that might help you to still be here tomorrow just saying i never understood why the fuck is this focus called limited rearmament when it only gives you civilian factories the king is still not married and i kind of don't have any focuses to do. I can't do any more industry. Maybe I should start this new commonwealth thingy, but this gives me a lot of consumer goods, so I don't really want to. I guess I will do reinforce the empire. Some stability won't hurt me. Finally, there it is. I think I need to click the middle one. I hope I'm right. Womp womp. The British government has fallen. Billions must now cope. And there it goes. The backstab. After all I did for them, they leave me. It's alright, this will not be forgotten. At least British Malaya has my back. My only homeboy. Is Ireland still my dominion? Yeah, they are, I have two homeboys now. Just got my fifth research slot and now I can finally actually do my political tree. Getting this country back on its feet. Cause man, this just won't do it. We have an empire to reclaim. Uh, okay. Siam demanded Burma from me. And since India was a totally independent country, I thought accepting won't do anything, but apparently they transferred it. And Siam has a war goal on uh, everybody. And I don't trust them not to declare them. Oh, this? Nah, don't worry about it. Just a little idea I had. Uh, so far, I didn't have to use the parliament mechanics at all, so it seems kinda useless. Well, I'm sure it has some use for the other paths, but not for this one, I guess. Well, it seems like I made a mistake again. I thought this one was the Wurgel on Belgium, which it is, and this one one on Netherlands, but apparently it's on Bulgaria from all places. So I started manually justifying on uh, the Netherlands, and now I'm gonna try to invade Belgium. It might be a little bit complicated, because they have such a small coast. Oh, apparently not. My troops are stronger than I thought. Okay, got the port, it's over. For them Belgians. 
there we go now we're gonna wait for the netherlands and then i am gonna go right into france because i can restore the angevin empire and i will really like to do that it's the only period in history when britain was based colonizing france oh Oh, uh, something ridiculous just happened. I joined the Axis. I did not expect for them to accept me. Just like that. It's okay, I will betray them later. Now, let's get our war goal on France. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Canada just guaranteed the Netherlands. One single day before my war goal was ready. And they have this faction. So, I guess I will need to place a couple troops on the borders. I need one, two, three, four five divisions here i think and eight right here god damn it that's a lot of divisions will i even have anything left to fight the netherlands with can i train more oh actually yeah okay not a bunch though equipment is kind of hard to come by these days okay all the troops arrived well and oh my fucking god my war goal was just about to expire they are now also guaranteed by czechia which has the czech entente so let's destroy them real quick and canada is the only major this might be perfect for us because i will just get back three of my colonies there goes netherlands and they just joined the czech faction so let's call germany in actually no wait let's wait for this focus to finish i just get a bunch of buffs okay let's get six military factories and I want all those guys to go to Canada because they are the real enemy. Do I have supply? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I think Germany just declared war. Oh shit! France joined the war somehow. How? What the fuck? Uh, okay, they still have disjointed government, so let's race for uh, Paris. <laughs> and I think that was it for France. Almost. One more victory point. There we go. Literally four days. I killed France with 12 divisions in four days. That must be a new fucking record. Okay, let's help the Germans kill Czechoslovakia now because they are a major. And after that, I think I'm gonna core a bit of France. I'm not really sure what the focus does. But let's hope it's something cool. Because that's why I am here. Oh fuck, I forgot about Africa. Uh, unlucky. Let's push into South Africa anyway. Don't really need to do this, but... It's fun. Okay, Canada is a fucking bitch, as always. I only advanced two tiles, and I already need a supply hub. Which is gonna take 200 entire days to build. Okay, I don't have time for that. Let's uh, reorganize the railway system. I can't do it during wartime. Okay, I'm just gonna chill a little bit then. It's, it's no biggie. I also have some fresh new units. So let's send them to Africa. And... <laughs> There goes the little big Antant, I guess. I'm gonna take all of France, all of the Netherlands, the Dutch East Indies, all the navies. And I think I will set up a Romanian puppet. So I have a way to attack Bulgaria later. Because, you know, I have that war goal on them and it's a bit of a shame to let it unused. Hungary was also in this piss deal for some reason, I don't know why. Let's make... A big hungry, why not? Making the demographic happy. They are not gonna get Transylvania though, on my watch. Okay, and Germany can take everything else. I don't really care, I did most of the work in this war. They might seem like they have more war score than me, but that's just because they are stupid. They got pushed back by both Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia. And if I didn't intervene in Czechoslovakia, it would have taken Germany a couple years to defeat them. Anyway, looking pretty good so far. I almost have all of Africa. And I'm slowly pushing through Canada. Let's try to get this port. I really need some supply here. Ah, it took me too much time to capitulate Canada and now... Oh, never mind. Australia was a major for like 20 seconds and not anymore. They fucking gave me the chills. Let's go up to limited conscription as well because I'm using half a million men to garrison all my territory. I'm just about to get the Angevin Empire, but I, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna core anything actually. That fucking supply hub is, is still not built, has 60 days left. Oh, by the way, Thailand declared war on me. Oh, wait, I actually have a border with them now. Let's kill them. The German divisions are not doing anything because they are not in the war, by the way. Oh, yes, this is what I want to see. Gain score on all French states in Europe. The Angevin fucking empire. Now with 91 million core population. And you know what? After all, why not? Let's move the capital to Lorraine. Oh, this? Ah, this is kind of lame. I thought it was somewhere in the north. Okay, I should have kept London. I just realized this is actually so fucked up because I am basically playing both as the UK and France right now. And the worst thing of all 
is that Egypt kept its pink color. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, Egypt is the thing in this mod. They don't have a focus there or anything. They will probably have one in the future, maybe, I think, I don't know. Let's do Imperial Ambitions next. Japan just declared war on me. So after I'm done with Thailand, I'm gonna get Japan. I sense that this video is gonna end up in a world conquest. Okay, strange. The entire state of Laos just flipped to Thailand and my entire army got caught here. I sense I will lose a lot of divisions. I already lost one. Thank you, game. Yep, there goes another one. I don't know what the fuck Germany just demanded from the Soviets, but I don't think it's gonna end good. Oh, they are already at war. Okay, nice. I just so I'm not gonna get dragged into that war randomly. I am really struggling here in Thailand. I don't have that many divisions here. And I'm just about to lose another two. Incredible. Oh yeah, let's make the divisions bigger. I don't have experience. Never mind. Oh, at least I managed to break my divisions from there. And I made a little encirclement here. Just need to take the port now. And it's gonna take another 25 months until I reach Vancouver. To capitulate Canada. I wish taking this part of the country would be enough. I really do wish that. Oof, this is a big hit for the Japanese Navy. I am almost done with Canada. Oh no, actually they capitulated. There we go. I can take everything now. The Empire is back together. We only need to reclaim the jewel of the empire, this weird ass green India, after I'm done with Japan though. They are still not at war with China, which is surprising, they have war goals on them, but they are probably shriveling in their pants, cause it's already 39 and China is pretty strong. <laughs> Seems like that really bothered them because they just declared war on China, and weirdly from doing that they brought the USA into the war, very unlucky for them. Thailand looks like this now, and they are still not capitulated, only 98%. And this is territory they got from me, so it doesn't count towards their victory points. So they are only surviving from this, this one tile, I think. Okay, guys, I just capitulated Japan. It was so interesting that I forgot to fucking record it. So anyway, I'm gonna get all of Indochina. I'm gonna make a big Romania. The fuckers gave Bessarabia to the Soviets when they were pushed up to Moscow by Germany. The AI sometimes is just magnificent. And I'm gonna pop at Japan and take the little resources they have. Now, I'm sorry to kill the hype, but... I think Brazil, actually no, this is Portugal, they managed to unite with Brazil and they are in the communist faction. And it just happens that I have the perfect focus for this, the Portuguese crown, and I'm gonna declare war on them. I wanted to kill Spain first, but the civil war took so goddamn long and when they finished it in mid-1940, they already joined the Axis. So can't really touch them for a while. The natural question that comes with every large conquest of this scale is, what the fuck do you do with the territory? Do you just keep occupying it forever without cutting it? Well, not exactly, because this mod adds something that I really like. You got some focuses to consolidate your conquer territory into bigger puppets. Like this one, establish British Indochina, which will make British Malaya bigger. There is only two of those branches, one for uh, Indonesia and Indochina, and another one for South America. But I think it would be very cool if you could get more of them, like one for Africa, look at this, I have pretty much all of Africa, or one for North America or shit like that. Oh, well, this is pretty pathetic, they only got a course on Thailand. Can I expand it from decisions? No. I can do it once more though, but I thought... I thought this one was gonna give it all of Indochina and this one the rest of Indonesia, but apparently not. Yeah, well, it's better than nothing. They got a lot of core population now. And uh, I made a little mistake. I did not wait for my troops to reach the Portuguese colonies, so now they are pushing like crazy. I capitulated Portugal, unfortunately there is a Greater Portugal which is in the Axis, so I didn't get any of the territory. The only major left in the faction is the Soviet Union, but I don't really want to intervene, because I plan on killing Germany later. So I'm just gonna let them burn more of their manpower on the Soviets, until I decide to go in. Oh! Okay, I just declared war on the USA and it seems like they were fucking ready. They already pushed me out quite a bit. To be fair, I don't have that many divisions here. To be fair, I don't have that many divisions in total. They have a bit more than I do. And they did not fight at all this game until 1942, so uh, yeah, they are pretty strong. I just got a collaboration government going and my entire army keeps assigning to this one tile, I don't know why, but they just do it out of instinct. And I already 
lost a couple supply hubs okay let's maybe go all the way around with this one so it won't get captured so easily also i finally next ireland and cord it along the way i also got iran as my puppet and a war goal on afghanistan because they refused the us did the classic mistake of taking its entire army off the front line to go god knows where so i pressed the magic buttons and now we are winning only got one collaboration government ready and i ran out of a bunch of equipment started to recover a little bit guangxi click declared war on me just a couple moments ago and they are part of the mutual assistance block which is now invading the rest of my territory fun the game makes sense as always also i annexed all of brazil but the amazon still remained Portuguese, we are gonna deal with this new Amazon bullshit for the next 10 years. Paradox will never fix how those regions work. Trust me on that. I know them too well by this point. I also got encircled in Alaska somehow. That's curious. Getting rid of the United States is probably my second favorite thing to do. 96%. And there we go. Can I now create the Dominion of North America, please? It doesn't seem like it. Let's release Canada. Maybe we... We'll get an option then. Ah, there it is. Create the Pan North American state. The Dominion of North America. I don't know why the devs stop at this. Why can't we also get Mexico and the Central American states into this? That would be way cooler than this. Anyway, enough with that. It's time to kill China. The funniest fucking shit ever is that China is not even the major. Guangxi click is the major. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? I declared war on India and for some reason Turkey guaranteed them because they are democratic. So that brought in the Italian faction, which has a grand total of two members. The only bad thing is that I don't have any divisions in the western fucking hemisphere and Germany doesn't want to join my war. So I will lose half of my core territory, all of France. I might even capitulate. You know what? Fuck it. Let's call everybody in. My puppets have a lot of divisions. Maybe they can take care of this. I wanted to steal the North American manpower, but when I last checked, they had 9k manpower and now they have 4k. Where the fuck is everybody? Japan also only has 400k. I guess I can take that. Why not after all? Why shouldn't I have it? Oh wait, I'm stupid. I have China. <laughs> Look at this. I'm still gonna annex Japan because I want to give those states to China. And Taiwan, of course. Okay, this was surprisingly easy. Uh, I went a little bit crazy on the world. I want to consolidate my puppets and make them big. So I declared a bunch of wars on minor nations. I am gonna get Nepal, then I'm gonna invade Mexico because I have a war goal on them from an event. Then kill everything that I have war goals on, Colombia, Argentina and Paraguay. And after that, it's Germany. Okay, that's all done. Now it's time for the big war. But wait a minute, this is kinda ugly. I really don't like that I cannot give my puppets land and shit like that. So let me cook for a bit. I need the state transfer tool mod. There we go, this is looking way cooler. I did a little trimming here and there. I got all the missing pieces of Africa that was in the hands of the Axis so I don't have to do 1 million fronts. Also annex the little North American nations into my puppet. Apparently I missed a spot here and here. Expanded British into China a little bit and made a nice beautiful round China. Oh wait, they are missing a piece. There we go. I think now China has every single little piece of territory that they claim in real life. I think they are also claiming a couple states. Oh no wait, they are claiming this entire state I think. Let's give it to them. And some little patches of territory from Burma but I cannot do that. Okay, yeah, this is looking good. Now let's leave the allies. I mean the Axis. Why do I always make this mistake? And now we need to man all those fronts. I also added one more mod, but we are gonna play with it a little bit later. So, first of all, Germany. We need a bunch of divisions on this front. Germany has 2 million manpower on service by requirement and 400 troops. This entire army will be here. This one will attack from Romania and this one will scatter around the world. One here, one here, one here. Two of them on Peru. And it seems like I need more armies. Be right back. Okay, I, I think it's the time. Let's let's do it. I actually already have a war goal on the Germans, so let's go. I just hope there are not 10,000 major powers already. And I hope I covered every single front. Let's declare war on those guys as well. Okay, so we have 
Germany, Finland and Sweden. That's horrible, because we all know how hard it is to push in Scandinavia. Germany is fighting Denmark, by the way. Only got one single collaboration government, so we are also gonna have to push a lot. Let's see what we can do. Oh, not so good so far. There aren't that many divisions on the front anyway, so this is a bit disappointing. But we are slowly getting there. Killed Venezuela pretty quick. And Uruguay, holy shit, that was 30-something divisions. Okay, let's send that army to Germany as quick as we can. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the Greek islands. Okay, guys, abort mission. We are not defending Turkey anymore. It's not that valuable anyway. And we are no longer pushing, so let's stop. 700k Germans dead already, and we lost 400k. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Okay, everybody, stop. It's Jover. We cannot do it. Spain is not joining the war, so let's get a work on them. Most of South America is cleaned out, only got a cone left to push out. Didn't really push much more into Germany and I'm struggling a bit in Spain, although there are no German divisions here. Oh, this is a bit hard. I lost 2 million people for only killing 2 million Germans. This 1 to 1 ratio is not fun. And also, there are four major powers now. The fucking Baltic states are major power status. They have 130 factories where they don't have enough building slots here. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, this is how the, the front looks like. Germany doesn't have that much manpower left though. I went up to service by requirement myself and I called in a couple of my puppets. China has a lot of division, so they are pushing pretty well. I'm only a bit scared about the fact that they are gonna break free, so I'm keeping an eye on that. Also, I decided to abandon Africa because Spain naval fucking invaded me. While the seas look like this, I don't know how. They naval invaded me in Morocco. Maybe my navy was repairing or something. Although they have automatic split off enabled. Yep, well, boys, it's hopeless. We have to fall back to the backup plan, nuclear Armageddon. My nukes will never disappoint. My planes are finally doing something. I am killing twice as many planes as I get killed. I don't know what the fuck is different, they are the same as always. I just select the latest chassis I have and hit auto design. I mean, look at this shit, it's not that good. Neither of them are, so I really don't know. But they are doing a very good job. Well, I think this is it, boys. I only used my nukes to kill like 70 German divisions and it seems like the front collapsed. They are at 71% because I did another collaboration government. The third one is on the way, but it's not gonna finish in time. Surprisingly, the fucking kingdom of Denmark is pushing out the Germans now. It's actually hilarious. Finland is about to fall. I killed Denmark in the meantime. So, this is basically a world conquest, guys. With Britain, can you imagine? Ignore the chicken pox, please. And try not to get offended by it. It's not my fault. I did not make this game. Somebody else did. And I know for a fact he is sorry about it. Mm, there we go, the game even ended. Jesus. Let me play a little bit longer, please. So, now that we own most of the world, literally the only countries that I don't own are those four little goobers from the Arabian Peninsula and... Oh, no, Iceland doesn't exist. So, let me go... Oh, wait, actually, I have the secret tool. I'm not gonna waste time justifying on those guys, I'm just gonna next them. I have the power now, so I'm gonna abuse it. Also, I'm gonna consolidate the territory in a couple of my puppets, so we can have nice borders. So this all is gonna go to Iran. Oh yeah, also the mod that I installed alongside the state transfer tool was the formable nations mod. So I hope that my puppets can form a nation or two. Oh my fucking god, searching for countries in this fucking list it's so obnoxious first of all they are not even alphabetical because those ones are alphabetical and then those other countries are also alphabetical but not together separated i just want a goddamn search button i i i've been searching for india for literally 10 minutes and i cannot find it i also searched for the soviet union for 10 minutes and they were called Anjevin Russia. They were literally the third country and I did not see them. Ooh, okay, this took a while. I gave South Africa all of Africa, United Iberia made a nice looking Germany. Actually, no, wait, let's punish them a little bit. We're giving all of this to Poland. There we go, this looks way better. I made a big Poland, hoping that Romania will unify the Balkans, this big ass Iran, 
Scandinavia, I chipped at Russia a little bit, made China even bigger, reduced Japan to its core territory, made an India and this big Indo-Chinese island nation. And now I am waiting for the two South American nations to spawn. This is one of them. Why the fuck is it pink? And one more. I have a war goal on Spain, which is my own puppet. Okay. Unfortunately, nobody is pressing any decisions. Let's give Greenland to Denmark. Maybe they will form Scandinavia. Nope. The countries are not clicking the decisions. This is sad. And I can't open the console to do it myself. Big L. I'm gonna give Schleswig back to Denmark now. Out of sorrow. Okay, now I think everything is perfect. It's actually looking good. They should let me edit the world's borders. There will be no words ever again. When all the borders look this nice. Okay, you know what? Now I fucking hope it was pink instead of cum white. We got the fucking Peru Bolivian Confederacy. And they have quite a bit more countries than just those two. And they have 8 million Ben power, what the fuck, where from? Okay, this is cool and all, but what the fuck do I do with Brazil? Let's just split it between the two. Ah, this is kinda looking bad. I'm gonna give this to the north, and maybe this to them, and this. No, <laughs> fuck. Okay, the British Grand Colombia will penetrate the Peru Bolivian Confederacy a little bit. It's fine. This is my idyllic world. I would just wish that they would form the actual nations. Okay, anyway. Weirdly enough, I played the fucking UK and I did a world fucking conquest. And I had fun. This expanded focus tree is really good, I may say. So don't forget guys, the link is in the description. You may want to give this a try. Also, play Japan, they are the main focus of the mod, so this might actually be pretty good as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this far, I hope you liked the video, and as always, I would like to thank my patrons for supporting me every single month. Flossy, Tomilea1, Arctic, CJ, Devante, Thunder, Gronkwegs, Windows Mistake Edition, Gabeslicor, Jack M, Eric Amenerheim, Neil Class, K64, Dante Mantis, Yuki, and I am a disappointment. Thank you guys, your support is much appreciated. And until next time, don't forget, the world is now British.